Welcome back to Roland Garros, where in spite of a little bit of rain, the Day 6 programme has largely been unaffected. The roof remained closed on Philippe Chatrier, which was where women's eighth seed and three-time champion Serena Williams faced fellow American Danielle Collins, who was looking to repeat her run to the quarterfinals last year. Your commentators for this one are P. Dodgers and Sophie Amiak. certainly wasn't expecting the lob. I love that drop shot though. I thought that was clever and Gaza. yep, she was not expecting the lob at all. She thought she was going to hit actually a two-handed backhand with topspin and then at the last second open the racket face right here. Very smart. Good control. Yep. You can applaud that. Mm. Crunch. And that was in the slot. Yep. Right. Playing with fire. Right. And that and there's certainly strike was. Zone. Look at that. Can't just uh, give her 143 kilometers per hour serve in their strike zone. And they're going to be definitely sanctioned. And yeah, the timing of the return has just gone up a gear here for Gazzard. Williams. Gazzard. And there's a couple more break points. Oh, she's made it. Yeah. Williams. Williams breaks. Ah. It's a stunning get from Serena Williams, but Collins stay focused. Mm, such an athlete. Look at that yeah, move. And then turns around. Still tries for that one, but great timing for such great serve. from Collins. Good use of the angle. Uh, You're talking about works. changing the pace and the speed. A subtlety to that backhand. I totally agree. I love it. It's not easy to do because you have to really now hit, not hit through the ball. You have to really loop and shorten your swing. Put a lot of topspin. You need a lot of control for this kind of shot. Big serving at a big time for Daniel Collins. Had to save a set point and we'll ask the question of Serena yeah, Williams yeah, as to whether the 39-year-old can serve this first set out. I thought about taking it out of the air. And in the end, you have to say she made the right decision. It's just so good quality movement for Water. Serena Williams. I'm really impressed right now. Good decision, as you mentioned, Pete, to take her time. Picks a target, executed. Love 30 to 30 all. Oh, you know it's coming. That's her favorite serve right down the tee when it really, really, she needs it the most. And fifth ace gives her a set point. I think it's safe to say that's the best set of tennis Serena Williams has played in this year's championships. Awesome firepower from the three-time Roland Garros champion. Seriously, yeah, that's uh, going to be a replay all day long, and we might see this again and again throughout the tournament. One of the best points of the tournament. It was definitely around the post, the ATP. We've got one off the forehand, one off the backhand. More importantly to Daniel Collins, though, she's got another break point. 
Double faulted last time. Serena Williams was break point down. And double faults again. Right now, that is her Achilles heel. As often. A lovely one two punch. To get on top of that back end. Terrific tennis all round. Not happy with the bounce at the end of it all, Daniel Collins, and you can really feel for her because it was quality play from both players. So impressive the movement oh, of Serena Williams on those really deep ball attacked by Daniel Collins, and it's almost like as if Daniel Collins on this shot just cannot handle the pain and the pressure and the power. There is the break. Serena Williams responding like the champion she is. Collins made four shots at one. Super. Has yet to miss any of the swing balls. Shift so on cue with that. Comes in at the right time and lower the racket head here to produce tons of top spin to make sure that that ball stays in the court. Excellent. Yeah, I think a little bit of sarcasm oh, there from Daniel Collins. <laughs> Not the time you want a bad bounce, of course. Someone who likes to take the ball so early, and that is what can happen. Yeah, it's been a battle, particularly this second set, but the great champion has dug in. And somehow found a way to turn it around. Now has a match point. Swear well, well, for the first well, time well, since well, 2018. Well, is through to the last 16. And with all the upsets that we've seen over the last couple of days on the women's side of the draw, you do just never know. Gets the better of her good friend, Daniel Collins, in straight sets. 6-4, 6-4 in an hour and 25 minutes. So Serena Williams glides into the last 16 where she'll meet Elena Rabakina, the 21st seed making short work of Elena Vesmina in a 6-1-6-4. The bottom quarter of the draw has really opened up, but not for 2018 quarter-finalist Daria Kazakina. She was beaten in straight sets by Serena Sestea, 6-3-6-2. They will now face Tamara Zudanzek. She came back from being bageled in the first set to beat Katarina Siniakova in three sets. This is the fifth time that second seed Daniel Medvedev has competed at Roland Garros, and amazingly, he's still bidding to reach the last 16 for the first time. His opponent is the American 32nd seed Riley Opelka, all six foot eleven of him. Your commentators on court, Suzanne Longland, are Chris Bowers and Nick Brown. Oh, where did that come from? 
You won't find that in any textbook. Well, this is outrageous bit of touch. Quite sure how he, how he managed to play that shot. Played it off his left hip. Two set points for Daniel Medvedev. And there's the set. Medvedev looking really at home on the red clay in spite of his poor record. He eased through the first two sets, 6-4, six, 6-2. Six, we pick it up early in the third. Sliding. No, well, both men are, are sliding to a bare minimum on the clay. Second break point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Medvedev. Well, he's in very quickly, but maybe too quick. Didn't steady himself. Well, we thought this might be a close match. Fascinating clash of styles. But you have to say, Medvedev has been so relaxed and has played a wonderful match. A delay of the nervous rule by about 10 seconds. Qualification pour les huitièmes de finale de Russe Daniel Medvedev. Medvedev into the last 16 for the first time, where he'll meet the number 22 seed Christian Garin, a four-set winner over Marcus Giron. Arena Sabalenka, the latest of the women's top 10 seeds to fall, just four remain. Marketa Vondrasova also booking her place in the last 16, beating Polona Herzog. Well, never mind the weather that washed through Paris. This was another superb day of quality tennis at Roland Garros. This tournament really heating up. And there will be plenty more gripping third round action on Saturday. All the makings for a Trebon weekend.